What is the normal structure of an immunoglobulin or an antibody? Antibodies uh, have a structure. It's uh, kind of like anything uh, that you build has a structure. They have something called a heavy chain, uh, and they have something called a light chain. Um, and it's typically depicted on a, in, a, in a picture as a Y. The heavy chain has the kind of um, uh, the label on it of the IgG, IgA, IgD, IgM. That's sort of a constant region that's on the stem of the heavy chain that defines what that stem is. Uh, and then the light chain, like I said, could be kappa or lambda, you know, chocolate or vanilla. So if you sort of picture this in your mind, the normal structure of an antibody molecule, it's like a big Y, and those are the two big, what, what are called heavy chains that are the type of immunoglobulins. And as I mentioned, most often in myeloma, it's IgG or IgA. But on each side of that molecule, there is a other flanking piece called a light chain, and that will be either kappa or lambda. Uh, normally, there is a small amount of these light chains in circulation, um, usually just a couple of milligrams per deciliter of serum. But often when people have myeloma, one or the other of those particular light chains is quite elevated. And uh, that can help signal that a person has myeloma. 